finally hear it for. After a three-year pause, student loan borrowers will have to start making payments again in less than a week. Yeah, and now experts warn that related scams are on the rise. Are Nidhi Han now to break down some ways you can protect yourself? Yes, if you are one of those people once again facing those monthly student loan bills, watch out. Criminals are targeting you. Here's how the scams work and how to protect yourself. Hi, this is Sarah. I'm following up regarding your eligibility for a student loan forgiveness program. As the pause on federal student loan payments will end next month, scams promising debt relief are surging. It looks like your application is incomplete and needs to be submitted before the end of the forbearance deadline. It's urgent that you return my call to complete your application prior to when payments resume. The FTC warns that scammers are calling, texting, and emailing borrowers, falsely claiming their student loan debt can be reduced or canceled altogether for a fee. They'll tell you they can get forgiveness in a shorter amount of time than might be available, um, that your payments are going toward your student loans. They might claim to be part of the Department of Education. But typically, those forgiveness programs are bogus. I'm calling about your federal student loan that is now showing possibly qualified for the loan forgiveness program. And this is through the Department of Education, so this program is government funded. Robocall tracking company Transition Network Services says it's monitoring about 100,000 student loan spam calls every week. We've seen a, you know, a big uptick in the last three weeks. Probably we've seen uh, more calls in the last three weeks than we have in the last three months. Red flags are when someone asks you to pay for their debt relief services up front, or calls and texts asking for your personal information, like like your federal student aid or FSA login. And you want to treat your FSA ID like your social security number. You want to keep that to yourself. You don't want to give that out. If you have questions about your loan payments, reach out directly to your servicer. If you don't know who your servicer is, you can find that information for free on studentaid.gov. We put a link on 6abc.com. And if you do get one of those spam calls, hang up before giving away any of your personal information. Or better yet, don't answer at all. I'm Nidia Han, Channel 6 Action News.